Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Tennessee Virtual College Fair for transfer students. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Just a couple of announcements before we get started. You're going to hear from three universities who are going to present on their respective institutions. Um, and you can use your question and answer button to ask questions of any of the presenters at any time. So don't be shy, use the Q&A and ask some questions. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists can't see or hear you. So the Q&A tool is really the best way to uh, interact with the, the panelists. Also, this is just one of a series of sessions happening as part of this uh, transfer college fair. So be sure to sign up for some additional sessions. Also, this session is being recorded and it'll be available in about a week on the same website where you registered as will sessions from all of the other um, uh, presentations that have that have occurred. So um, come back and, and check that out afterwards. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, who is Nicole from the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Awesome. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. So let me get this queued up for you. All right. So thanks so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. My name is Nicole Evans, and I serve as the Associate Director of Transfer Recruitment at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, or UAB for short. And just um, wanted to say thank you for um, giving us the time to talk with you and just to share a little bit more about our institutions. And I'm going to cover a little bit of information about UAB, the transfer process, scholarships, our degree options, and how to stay connected with us as an office. So quickly, an overview of UAB. We are located in Birmingham, Alabama. We are downtown. We are an urban campus, um, so we encourage you to check us out. We are a little over 22,000 students, so we are a mid to large um, public institution. So that's a little bit about our size and our undergraduate student body plus our graduates uh, student body as well. We represent over 100 countries. So we do have diverse students at UAB. In fall 2019, our transfer class represented 28 different states. So we do have students from all over the country. And then we offer over 250 degree programs and student organizations. And that may sound like a lot, and it is, but we are here to help navigate through that process. And one of our tools that we have available is uab.edu slash degrees. This is a wonderful portal for you to explore opportunities at UAB. You can search by a specific program or major or a career path or maybe just a keyword of a job that you're interested in. And this will ping certain programs at the undergraduate and graduate level that are available at UAB. It'll give you more information about the undergraduate program it may spotlight a recent graduate or have some income information of, of what to expect after graduation. So a lot of really great information as you're navigating your options at UAB. So you may already have something in mind for a program of study, or maybe you have a few different options that you're considering. This still would be a great tool to help you compare those. And then specifically for Tennessee, we do have three programs available in the academic, excuse me, academic common market. Um, these are very specific. It is an application process through ACM. So it is very specific. So please connect with me. I'll give you my contact information at the end because um, we can definitely talk about this in more detail. But the three programs are biology with a concentration in marine biology. Uh, chemistry with a concentration in forensic chemistry, and then genetics and genomic sciences. And then briefly wanted to cover the application process to UAB. It's very similar probably to a lot of institutions that you're considering, but our, our application is available at slash choose UAB. Um, we are looking at a minimum of a 2.0 GPA with 24 or more college credit hours. If you have less than that when you apply, that is something that we can discuss and check into what is needed for that process. But if you're curious as to how your transfer credits or how your credits will transfer to UAB, this website, uab.edu slash transfer credits is a wonderful resource for you to check and see how they would transfer. 
And then for scholarships, we are looking at students who are transferring from a community college with 45 or more transferable hours with at least a 3.25 GPA. You can receive one of these four awards. Um, if you are in Phi Theta Kappa, please note that the membership must be on your official transcript or we must receive an official letter from your chapter advisor verifying your membership. Our scholarship deadlines are December 1st for spring 2021. That is an extension from November 1, so please note that. And then March 1st for summer or fall students of 2021. And then we encourage you to visit us. If you visit uab.edu slash visit, we have various offerings virtually and then a few offerings on campus. So this is a wonderful page to connect with and you can learn more about all of our opportunities in visiting UAB. And then here's my contact information. This is a great way to stay in touch with me, either email or this is my work cell phone. You can call or text this number and I would be happy to, uh, answer any questions you have or tell you more about UAB or connect you with the specific major that you're interested in. And then another way to stay connected with UAB is through our social media accounts. Um, we're very active on Instagram at Choose UAB. We do student takeovers, swipe ups, we remind people about deadlines, occasionally we do giveaways, and it's just a really great way to just stay connected um, with us either through posts or through Instagram stories. We also have Facebook, Twitter, and then Snapdragon through Snapchat. And we just hope that you'll connect with us to learn more about UAB, and we're excited that you're considering UAB as an institution to transfer to. So thanks so much for joining us, and I'm going to turn it over to the next presenter. Thank you so much, Nicole. And next we have Philip from Faulkner University. Thank you, Josh. Uh, welcome everyone to uh, my session of uh, the webinar. And just a second. I am uh, with Florida University. I am the uh, Tennessee uh, rep for the entire state of Tennessee. And um, just a little bit about Faulkner. We um, were founded in 1942 as Montgomery Bible School. Uh, so we are a Christian university. And we're proud of that heritage. Um, basically, this means that um, uh, whatever you study here at Faulkner, whether it be uh, physical therapy or criminal justice or, or math, science, whatever you study, um, the teaching is going to be uh, by your professor from a biblical uh, perspective, going to be from a uh, Christian worldview. So uh, that is uh, part of who we are. And uh, as I said, that's uh, part of our heritage. Um, uh, Faulkner University is uh, located in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, we are in the south central uh, part of the state. Um, uh, we're about uh, four to six hours from most uh, cities and towns uh, in the state of Tennessee. Um, we uh, are pretty close to a lot of different attractions here. We're about a two hour drive from the Appalachian Trail, um, which is in uh, Northern Alabama. From, we're about three hour drive from uh, Gulf Shores Beach, uh, which is uh, beaches of Alabama, about three and a half hours uh, away from the Florida beaches. We're about a 30 minute drive from both Lake Martin and Lake Jordan. And we're about a two and a half hour drive um, from Atlanta. We are also a small university. Um, we're probably the size, um, our un whole entire university is probably the size of uh, most other universities colleges, but we have about 3,500 students, uh, including our satellite campuses in Huntsville, Birmingham, and Mobile. We have about 2,100 undergraduate students, 750 graduate students. Uh, we have on campus about eight to 900 students. And uh, we are representing our population uh, by 40 states and about 38 countries. So although we're small, uh, we have a diverse uh, student body. Um, we have about 45 undergraduate degrees and these are concentrated into 30 majors. Uh, basically with uh, 12 to 15 broad fields of study. Uh, we have four degree uh, programs with 100% job placement after graduation. These are in criminal justice, computer science, 
uh, counseling and education. Uh, we're very uh, excited about our new College of Health Sciences. Uh, we presently have uh, two master's programs, one in speech and language pathology and one in physician's assistant. Uh, we will have in 2021, the fall of 21, we will uh, begin a doctoral program in physical therapy and in the fall of 2022, a doctoral program in occupational therapy. Um, our speech and language pathology program uh, fully staffs uh, a, a clinic, uh, an autism clinic in Montgomery free to residents. And as I said, this is uh, fully staffed by our uh, speech and language pathology students. But we also have a law school, uh, Faulkner Law School, uh, which is uh, known as Jones Law School, which uh, at times we are one of three accredited uh, law schools in the state and at times have had a 98% uh, first bar passage rate. Um, Faulkner participates in the NAIA in sports. Uh, we have five men and five women's uh, sports available and uh, two non-championship sports. At Faulkner University, um, our social life is pretty much based on our uh, social club system. We have four uh, men and four uh, women's social club uh, which compete in uh, sports for the best club at the end of the year, as well as a musical production, which we call Jamboree um, at the end of the year. Um, types of scholarships and awards uh, we have for uh, undergraduates, of course, so we won't really spend time on these, but we do have uh, a 2.0 um, GPA for transfers and 24 credit hours. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, we will take a look if you have less than 24. Um, this is my contact information. Um, if you are interested, we would love to talk with you. We, uh, being a private Christian university, we you know, have a lot of leeway in uh, how we structure um, our scholarships. So uh, we'd love to talk with you. Uh, this is uh, my contact information. Um, if uh, you would like to talk with me further. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Philip. Next, we have Nancy from the University of North Carolina, Pembroke. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, my name is Nancy Reading, and I'm the Associate Director of Admissions here at UNC Pembroke. Um, and I hope to tell you some reasons why you should choose to be a Brave. So first of all, what makes us the University of North Carolina at Pembroke? UNC Pembroke was founded in 1887 as the Croatan Normal School. Our original purpose was to educate American Indian teachers. UNCP is the nation's only four-year public institution founded by American Indians for American Indians. So our heritage is well ingrained within our purpose. We also are considered a minority serving institution and the diversity found on our campus is something we pride ourselves on. With about 8,200 students, 6,400 being undergraduates, you'll definitely find a home and someone you connect with at UNC Pembroke. With 41 undergraduate programs and 18 graduate programs, we have a lot to offer at UNCP. Some of our most common majors are business, biology, education, nursing, and exercise and sports science. With our small class sizes and our average class size being 20 and our student to faculty ratio of 18 to one, you'll definitely feel at home at UNCP. Um, and if you are transferring from a community college, you won't get lost in the crowd. UNC Pembroke is an NCAA Division II school offering 14 varsity athletic teams. We currently compete in the Peach Belt Conference, but we'll be switching over to the Conference Carolinas in the fall. We also offer extensive study abroad opportunities in 100 plus clubs and organizations. So there's definitely something to get involved in, including 20 plus Greek lettered organizations. UNC Pembroke is also an affordable choice for your education. If you're planning to live on campus and you're an out-of-state student, the total tuition cost is about $19,500.
We do require all students living on campus to have health insurance. So if you already have your own, you can immediately receive a discount of $2,600 because we'll remove that charge, making your total tuition about 16,000. This can be a huge cost savings and puts us on par with many in-state institutions for students. We also offer extensive scholarships and encourage all students that apply to UNCP to complete a scholarship application on our Brave Assist portal. Make sure you add us to your FAFSA. If you're living on campus, you'll definitely find your home away from home, either in our two traditional style dorms, three suite style dorms, or two apartment complexes. We definitely have a space that'll fit your needs. Now, if you're not planning to leave the state of Tennessee or wherever you're tuning in from, definitely check out our online programs. We offer several online programs, including criminal justice, sociology, business administration with tracks in economics, finance, management, and marketing, and then our bachelors of interdisciplinary studies. The BIS degree program is a really unique program and great for students who have achieved an associate of applied science at their community college, because this program will allow you to transfer in at least 30 hours from that degree program, plus any general education courses that you've completed. The other great thing is our tuition for online students is also extremely affordable with 12 credit hours costing about $2,300. You really can't beat that price. Our business program is well known and is AACSB accredited. So if you are interested in majoring in business at UNC Pembroke, either on campus or online, I also encourage you to consider our pathway to MBA, where you can complete your BSBA and your MBA in only five years. This is available because you'll be able to take 12 hours of graduate coursework during your senior year of your undergraduate career, also taking those classes at the undergraduate tuition rate then you'll only have one year remaining in our MBA program. So if I've convinced you to apply to UNC Pembroke, which I hope I have, please complete your application online at bridgetobrave.uncp.edu. Our application fees are waived October 19th through the 30th. Also make sure that you request all transcripts from prior institutions that you've attended. If you're under the age of 21, we will also need your high school transcript. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to me and my contact information. Email is probably best at nancy.reading at uncp.edu. I really look forward to hearing from you or check us out on our website at www.uncp.edu. Please choose to be a brave. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much, Nancy. That is the last of the presentations, but if I could ask each of the presenters to turn their cameras back on and maybe they could spend 30 seconds to a minute or so sharing with us um, maybe a, a good tip or one bit of advice to, um, to transfer students as they're you know, going about their, their search and, and considering your institutions. Let's start with Nicole, if we could. Sure, thank you. So I would definitely encourage you to set reminders, look at the different institutions you're considering. Um, a lot of deadlines can be very similar, but some of them can be very specific to an institution. And we don't want you to miss any important deadline for scholarships or priority for financial aid or anything like that. We want you to maximize your opportunities. And then also I would say, stay connected with whoever your admissions representative is because like for me, I was a transfer student. So I've been through the process, came out through the other side, graduated and then went into the working world. So a lot of us can talk about our personal experiences even if your admissions counselor wasn't a transfer student. Going from freshman year to sophomore year is another transition. Uh, high school senior to freshman year is a transition. We've all been in transition as students before. So stay connected with us. Um, admissions representatives are very, very happy um, to help. We know this has been a challenging year for everyone. And we know that a lot of students are Zoomed out and maybe not wanting to get online, but we're happy to connect over the phone or through text messages or whatever works for you. So just make sure you're staying connected with your admissions representatives for the schools that you're considering. Thanks so much, Nicole. Philip from Faulkner University. 
Well, I mean, I hate to say exactly what she said, but uh, really what Nicole said, I think, is uh, most important. I, I feel like if you stay in touch and stay in contact with uh, us as um, admissions counselors, uh, we can navigate through some of those uh, questions because we know that they're all specific uh, questions and each person's situation is different. And so I believe uh, staying uh, close to us and staying in, in contact with us uh, is really uh, the most important part or the tidbit that I would say uh, really keeps you uh, connected to the process. So I would agree. Thanks so much, Philip. And Nancy, you have the last word. Thank you, Josh. So um, I would definitely also say, um, consider where you're planning to transfer to as early as possible and the specific degree program you're interested in so you can avoid taking classes that you might not need for that program. Also, any courses that you save, if you're able to take, save your syllabus if you can. Um, because a lot of us um, use the catalog description, but you may be able to petition to have credit applied um, if you have that course syllabus and show what you learned. Um, so you don't want to ever waste your credit. So saving some documentation when you're getting ready to transfer, especially if you're going to an out of state institution, can help a lot in ensuring that you don't repeat classes that you've already done. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you for your advice. It's all great advice. Uh, certainly uh, communicating with your admission officers is, is critical and, um, and admission officers love to hear from students. So don't be shy to ask, ask your questions as you have them, um, be in touch for sure. So with that, we'll end the presentation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, especially to the panelists for sharing with us this evening. Um, when you close your window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd really appreciate any feedback you can provide to us there. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for some others. And again, in about a week, you'll be able to find this recording as well as recording of all of the other sessions online at the same place where you registered. Have a great uh, evening. Thank you so much. See you all, see you all later.